Compass FM and uh, Thompson Twins don't mess with the Dr. Dream. Uh, we certainly don't want to mess around with Mark from McAlpine's Mighty 10 Mega either. Um, hi, Mark. How are you? I'm fantastic. And I- you can mess around with me for... Eight minutes. Well, okay, well, eight minutes? That long? Okay, <laughs> now, um, the thing is, I've got a question for you, and I um, I actually thought of you yesterday afternoon, <laughs> as I was doing a wee bit of, um, oh, getting ready for, for dinner, cooking cooking dinner, I opened up a uh, box of potatoes, and all of these little shoots were all over the potatoes, and I'm talking, they're, they're, they're at least two, two centimetres long, they're, they're everywhere in my box of perilla potatoes. <laughs> now, why would that happen? Because I only bought them about a week ago. Well, they're starting to sprout. What do you do with them? Can I actually plant them? Well, you can still peel them and eat them. Well, I might do that as well. But um, but can you? Could I actually plant them? You could. Really? And I have a little perla plant, perla potato plant. That's that's <laughs> the gist of it. Yes. <laughs> but good on you for asking um, a question about growing, because that's that's what the potato is doing, mm. and it won't be that long, and people will do that. They put them um, where the light. Um, makes them sprout, and then that makes them sprout into other potatoes. Okay, that's that's biology. I get that, but um, I can tell you now that there is they're, they're in a, a, a cupboard that's as dark as the um, the, uh, the ace of spades. To be honest, uh, maybe these sprouts were already there, and we've got quality control issues at the supermarket. I should introduce you properly, Mark from McAlpine's Mighty Ten <laughs> Just having a random conversation about potatoes is, um, hey, it's not great radio, is it? You know? Well, okay, it kind of relates to why I'm here, but in a, a bit of a distance way. But I am training you to grow your food, mm. and I can understand why you would ask that question. Okay. So um, it won't be that long before people are starting to sprout their potatoes. Question, again, and it's to do with the pearl of potatoes. If I got a, a bucket... And or you know a, a, a planter box, and put some soil in and all that sort of stuff. I could actually run an experiment of my own, and if it and if it worked, then I could pat myself on the back and getting advice from McAlpine's Mighty Team Mega, the garden department uh, head guru, Mark there. Um, <laughs> the Look, way you're looking at no, me. No, a lot of people <laughs> actually have started um, to grow a potato in a bucket yep. over the last few years. Mm. And some companies have like competitive um, camaraderie with their staff. And I mean, these are all good things. They see who can produce the most potatoes. Yep. And, and it, it is slightly early, but, um, you know, what does a potato want to do? It wants to be kept warm, it wants to sprout, and it will grow you potatoes. Mm. But when we get closer, to the season, I can actually um, teach you how to get a mass of potatoes so that you won't buy the box and put them in the cupboard that's searching for light mm. and shooting out sprouts at the wrong time of the year. To be honest, I think that I'd be quite safe on Mars. Um, the, the, the movie The Martian, the guy grows potatoes in his, in his um, unit. I think that I could probably handle that. I mean, the good thing is, is that you're, you're starting to develop an awareness of what can grow. Oh, it's taken a wee while, but it's know. it's good. I yeah. feel like I'm starting to get you. That's that's the way, especially you know at around half past three yesterday afternoon, thinking of you, Marg, and asking the question about the potatoes. What have you? What have we got? What what's happening down at McAlpine's Mighty Ten? Oh gosh, look, it's um, the whole store is alive and vibrant at the moment. We're absolutely packed in the garden centre with colour galore for Mother's Day. Brilliant. Mother's Day. Um, the the colour is just fantastic. We've got. Um, everything that you can imagine and um, in our gift area too Um, but not only that I mean don't forget like if you are not sure if you want to buy the gift we have gift vouchers we have uh, uh, you know it's good to give something that is um, like me what I want Mm. you know but Mm. I don't really celebrate Mother's Day as such of giving gifts we don't give gifts Mm. but Mm. um, however I think that the whole store could cater for every mother in, in New Zealand at the moment. It, it's full of all these options and choices. And with our expansion, our stock and our range is fantastic. I mean, fantastic. Absolutely. Look, the, 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 it's a bit of a fallacy that uh, mums just want uh, flowers or whatever it is, chocolates for, for Mother's Day. There's nothing wrong with uh, buying her an 18-volt power drill. Um, certainly if uh, mum is into putting up cupboards and other bits and pieces, it's, you know, and you've got all of it there. I'd like a new um, hedge clipper. 
Would you now? In case my children are listening. <laughs> but I won't mention it on radio. <laughs> oh, no, don't, don't mention that. We can't give that away. Um, but you've got everything down there, including the, the, the flowers, which is giving a, a living gift is always a good idea. Oh, absolutely fantastic. But in the hardware, I mean, there's, you know how you open the drawer and you want to put a picture on the wall, you haven't got the right tools. There's everything down there to help people. And I... Do you know, this is the year, surely. Let's give something sensible. Absolutely. An incredibly uh, fine corporate citizen, Calpine's Minor 10 Mega, and sponsor of The Breakfast Show. Mark, thanks for coming in. Um, have, have you got a tip for us today? Or, or, or anything? Yeah, d- d- just be aware that uh, Jack Frost is around the corner, and we've got masses of frost cloth at the moment. It will sneak up on you. Get prepared. Absolutely. Brilliant stuff. It is uh, 16 minutes past eight. Uh, that's uh, going by my little recording here. We've got seven and a half minutes on the clock there, mates. We got I knew you'd turn me down. We got close to eight. <laughs> <laughs> we got close to eight. It is Compass. We'll see you again next Thursday. Thank you. Compass FM. FM.